people, be wise and walk with the wise. An achiever in mission knows what influence he or she needed in this life. You want to be wise? Walk with the wise. You want to be a fool? Walk with the fools. So come now and let us worship our wonderful Jesus. Let's worship the Lord. Yeah. 
gamers! I am Pastor Mark and welcome to Hey Youth! First Thessalonians 5.21 But examine everything carefully, hold fast to that which is good. Gaming is really a growing community. And usually before, it was boys who play. Now, everyone does. So let us review a not so new game but new game. And it's a game called League of Legends Wild Rift. So it is a PC game that now is in the mobile. So basically, it's the same as Mobile Legends oh, Dota. No. Which means we have learned before that we should not be dealing with magic demons. Why? Because we are a friend of God. Well, we hear people say, It's just for fun naman. Ah, nakapag devotions naman ako eh. Well, the thing is guys, you cannot say that you are a friend of God and also the friend of a devil at the same time. Remember, God loves you. Exodus 20 verse 5, You should not worship them or serve them, for I, the Lord your God, am a jealous God. So God is jealous for you because He loves you. Matthew 5, 13 to 16, You are the salt of the earth, but if the salt has lost its taste, how shall its saltiness be restored? It is no longer good for anything except to be thrown out and trampled under people's feet. You are the light of the world. A city set on a hill cannot be hidden, nor do people light a lamp and put it under a basket but on a stand and gives it light to all in the house. In the same way, let your light shine before others so that they may see your good works and give glory to your Father who is in heaven. Well, gaming, is it a form of good works? So playing with demons, magic, etc. is a form of good works? Think about it. Another thing to think about is how can you share the gospel with your friends, classmates, relatives if you're playing League of Legends or ML? Well, it's like, Let's have fun! And then saying, you know what? God loves you. God wants to save you from the power of darkness. Well, your message will not make sense. Your lifestyle will not back up your message. So I challenge you young people, make a choice. Make a choice to live in the light, to be a friend of God, to please God, and to keep on loving the Lord. So remember, examine everything and hold fast to that which is good. This is Hey Youth, and we are Achievers in Missions. It, to be a friend of God, to please God, and to keep on loving the Lord. So remember, examine everything and hold fast to that which is good. This is Hey Youth, and we are Achievers in Missions. Welcome to our Amplified segment. I'm Pastor James. So let us open our Bibles in Proverbs 13, verse 20. Whoever walks with the wise becomes wise, but the companion of fools will suffer harm. So as the saying goes, tell me who your friends are. I will tell you who you are. So two things I want to share. Number one, young people, Amar, walk with the wise, become wise. Number two, walk with the fools, you become a fool yourself. Walking with the wise. First thing we need to understand, wisdom is found in God. So walk with God if you want to become wise. James chapter 1 verse 5. If any of you lacks wisdom, let him ask God. Did you ask God for wisdom today? Did you ask God for wisdom tonight? Amen. If any of you lacks wisdom, let him ask God who gives generously to all without reproach and it will be given to him. You see, God will not forsake you of wisdom. God will not forsake you to become wise. So, Amar, what is your decision today? Will you walk with God? Will you ask God for wisdom? You see, the Word of God is a lamp at our feet and a light upon our path. The book of Psalms says. So, we should ask God for wisdom. We should allow the Word of God to direct us into the right path. And we will become wise. Wisdom is found, number two, in godly people. Proverbs 27 verse 
17. As iron sharpens an iron, so one man sharpens another. You see, if you want to become a wise person, you should be sharpened by another wise person. You want to become godly, you walk with the godly. You ask the godly people to be with you. You join the godly people to be with you. This is how it works, young people. But if you walk with the fools, number two, you will become a fool yourself. 1 Corinthians 15, verse 33. Do not be deceived. Bad company corrupts or ruins good morals. You see, foolish friends will accompany you to foolish things. The wisdom of this world is foolishness to God. So don't be intimidated or don't be jealous when they have lots of friends and you don't have lots of friends. In school, in university, in the community. Why? These are worldly people. They are into the things of this world. The Bible says that the wisdom of this world is foolishness to God. 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 19. For the wisdom of this world is holy with God. For it is written, he catches the wise in their craft. And see, this world seems wise. This world seems they know what is right. They know what is true. But the truth and the reality is they don't. You see, you walk with the wise, you grow wise. You walk with the fools, you become a fool yourself. So what is your decision today, Amer? What is your decision right now? Will you be jealous of this of this classmate of yours, these young people in the university who are doing the groupy groupy, doing the selfie thing? Don't be jealous with them. Don't be jealous with them. You walk with the wise. You walk with godly people. Find friends in church. Don't find friends in the university. The Bible says, bad company corrupts good character, ruins good morals. You want to be wise? Walk with God and walk with the wise. Walk with the godly people. Let me pray for you. Father, we thank you so much for your goodness. I pray for our young people, Lord. Strengthen their spiritual life, Lord. That they will not be jealous. They will not be envious of these young people in their university, in their community, who are doing all the sin stuff. All the things that develops that sinful lifestyle. But Lord, they will take their stand. They will stand their ground. That we are Christians. That we are to be like Christ. Lord, help our young people to always look for godly friends. That he who walks with the wise will grow wise. Father, we worship you and I commit to you, O Lord, our aimers, our young people. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen and amen.